Hello everybody, my name is FretX and welcome to Star Set, to one of my favourite games of all time. Now this game is definitely one of my favourites for one main reason, it's pretty similar to another game I played called Mountain Blade, which is you start off as a little boy with a tiny little ship and you can grow to become an admiral of a fleet or even own your own planet, which is I think an awesome gameplay loop. I love going from zero to hero, it's pretty fun. Now as you can see it is a space game <laughs> and uh, we're, we're just going to go right into it really, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. I'm quite a new game, I've not played this in a while so it may be a little bit rusty but it is definitely one of my favourites. I am going to be picking, I think, this character. Does it matter? No, <laughs> not really. Uh, let's just name my guy Fretex. What an amazing name. It's like it's my own. Now you've got some things you can pick here, like set to rage, uh, the set to size, whatever. It's totally fine. We're just going to go forward. Now you can actually do a few starts because you, you can actually play as like a bounty hunter, a uh, explorer, a uh, uh, merchant, or you can just do like some other stuff. Like for instance, you can say, I want to be a larger um, start, which is easy start. You get more stuff. Or you can be like, I want to be a spore of a little fleet, that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Now I will be picking a bounty hunter because I love the wolf class frigate. It's probably my favorite ship. And also you can choose a secondary bonus as well. You can get a kite car shuttle or a shepherd class drone tender. Now everybody, I gotta say, um, you probably don't know what's going on here, but um, this is a very slow ship. This ship is very fast. We're gonna go for the fast ship. <laughs> You'll see why when we start fighting people, it's very handy. Do you do not tutorial? No. Excuse me, I don't need a tutorial. Now, like most games, you can actually level up your character and get XP and stuff and pick perks. Now, it's quite a lot, you can see it's split between combat, leadership, technology and industry. I like fighting people, so we're going to be going for a combat perk. I'm not going to read all these out, but we will do it as we go along. What I'm going to pick first, though, is combat endurance, which increases like your ship's ability to fight in combat for longer, which is pretty handy. We'll explain that as we go on anyway. Okay, start the game. Simple as that, everybody, simple as that. Now this game is, um, like I said, it's very large. <laughs> you'll, you'll see in a second, this game is absolutely massive when it comes to like the size of stuff you can do. If I just go here, and we're in the game. You can see my little fleet, we've got my little wolf class frigate, and we've got my little shuttle. They kind of like fly around the circle to show your formation. And you can easily see at a glance other na uh, nations, other fleets as well. Like, so what's this guy? Hegemi Patrol. You can see he's got little ships as well. It's pretty cool. When it comes to UI, I'm like, oh, this guy has this ship because I can see it outside here. <laughs> it's pretty handy. Now, this is a slow system. As you can see, oh, that was the wrong button, everybody. I ruined it. I ruined the surprise. This entire thing, you can fly around in the area. And if you go to these little jump points, you can go to the actual sector as a whole, which is a lot of stars. Uh, actually, most of the stars are not actually inhabited. The ones like these names actually have like colonies there from different factions. But if you go like here, there'll probably be no one there. Maybe there'd be some stuff there, but not like a re regular faction. But anyway, we're going to start off as a bounty hunter, and we have our little ship. Where's my ship? The Wolf Class Frigate. It's a very tiny little ship, but it's got some guns on it. It can shoot some missiles. It's a pretty cool looking ship. I actually want to see, though, if I can change what's on top of the ship. Because in this game, you can, um, like I mentioned, uh, there's, a, there's quite a lot of stuff you can buy. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few options. I mean, like, look at this guy. The Legion Battle Carrier. It looks badass. <laughs> it has like, fun. it's a pretty big ship, everybody. Um, but I'm going to be just sick of what we have right now until we make some more money. Now, I actually have a weapon I really love to use. And there it is. The Mining Blaster. <laughs> the Mining Blaster and there's a better version called the, uh, I think it's the Pulse Laser. It has, it's basically like a high alpha damage weapon. You just shoot a big ball of death at somebody. And if it hits them, they normally blow up, which is always very fun. Um, so I'm going to be putting that on my ship. Which may seem crazy, but we will mine our enemies to death. They will be mined for their resources. It's going to be absolutely amazing. The, the little shuttle we'll leave as it is. This ship's just going to fly around and distract the enemy for me, so it's pretty handy. We also got an officer as well. Lieutenant Gamal Snowbank, who has a skill that he's good at actually moving around ships. He's got movability and top speed, which is pretty handy. Now, I know I got this sorted out. We're just going to go in right away, I think. I think there's no reason to hang around. I'm actually going to get rid of some of my missiles. Oh, do you know what? We'll keep the missiles just to show them off, you know. <laughs> we'll show off the missiles and I'll get rid of them afterwards. Okay. Now I'm going to go and there's a what bunch. As you can see, there's stuff everywhere. There's buttons all over the place. There's different factions and stuff. The Hegemies want to lead larger friendly factions. They kind of don't like AI though. So if you have any AI cores, they're not going to be very happy with you. Uh, but what we're going to do for now, I'm actually going to press this button here. Sustain burn. It basically means you go like super travel speed, kind of like a cruise drive in other games. Now there's actually a pirate base. You can see it's in red over here. So we're going to fly over this direction and hopefully we might be able to fight some pirates. These are, oh, oh, they're pirates here. Oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> What's this? Pirate Scout, that's fine. Whatever. We've been attacked by pirate scouts. Now, and I say it's like Mountain Blade, even this is like it in a way that you have like little pirates on the map, they do their own thing and they go around. Now, when you start a battle, you can deploy like a set amount of ships. I think it's like 400 in total. It's not 400 ships, but like 400 deployment points. So you see here, I got a, a my frigate is worth five points and my a little shuttle is worth two, which in theory means I can deploy like, I don't know. Like a hundred shuttles. <laughs> we should be ridiculous. We should probably do that at some point. That'd be pretty funny. Uh, but I'm going to put both my ships and we're just going to go in. Now. As you can see, you kind of start either side. Kind of like a regular battle on uh, Mountain Blade. And you go and fight the enemy. Now, you can do quite a lot of things like give orders on a tactical map. You can just say like, go over there, buddy. Or you can be like, look, I want you to engage or harass this. Like, let's see. Harass or engage. But like, guys, go and kill that ship. For the most part, though, if you don't do anything, the AI kind of does its own thing. You see, he's just doing his own little combat. He's just running around shoot people. It's pretty cool. Let me just, uh, let me just sneak in here. Don't mind me, buddy. You're being mined. I got this. Unfortunately for these enemies, they didn't realize that I have a lot of experience in this game. <laughs> now, I I'm doing quite a few things here. You can see I'm kind of moving around like a regular plane. You can move in a 2D plane. And also, like, right click there's a shield, which can change shape depending on the ship. And also, if I press F, I got a special ability like this. Teleport! Oh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Each ship has a different ability, by the way, so it does depend on what you're flying. But it's a pretty cool system. This guy is a bit annoying, actually, because he's got a lot of guns and a lot of shields. So we're actually going to leave him alone. See you, buddy. I'm going to go for this guy instead. Now... Flux, you got to be careful with it. It's kind of if you use energy or like use shields, you use flux, which means it's kind of like energy storage, so you can't just shoot infinitely. Oh, look at this damage! Look at that damage! Ah, enemy down, <laughs> and now it should be 2v1. So that's kind of the offset of a lot of people that they, they get flux problems, they blow up because if you. Oh, Get hit while you got high flux, your ship, ship will just turn itself off. It's pretty bad. We got this, we got this. Enemy down. But buddy, buddy, mind out. Okay, he's fine. <laughs> he avoided it, it's fine. He didn't get destroyed. So that was a quick battle there. It's very easy. Those pirate ships are awful, by the way. They have so many de debuffs, it's ridiculous. They got like compromised armor, increased maintenance. Faulty automate systems, <laughs> damage weapon mounts, degrade life support. Pirate ships are awful, but there's a lot of them. That, there's a big difference there. Uh, let's see. Let's take us some stuff. Ooh, we actually can't afford most of this stuff. I'll take the stuff anyway. We'll just have it. It'll be fine. Your fleet consumption has gone up. Don't worry about it, game. Don't worry about it. So it looks like the pirates are trying to, like, pursue this merchant convoy. We're, they'll be fine. They don't need my help. These guys are interested now. I'm just going to keep fighting enemies. And you can see at the bottom left there, I actually make money for killing people. Which is always pretty handy. There's actually, uh, you sometimes just get money from attacking people anyway. But if there's like a specific system-wide bounty against a faction or, or like a system, you make more money per kill you get. Which is pretty cool. So you can actually travel around the map depending on where there's problems and go and help there. Is this the same ship again? Oh no, it's got a big gun. It's got a big gun. Let's go for that shot first, shall we? Oh, danger. Now, this is why I wanted the shuttle, because you can see they're pretty fast. They don't, they don't do much damage, but they distract the enemy loads. Ooh, defend, defend. I want to kill this guy first. Hello there. Oh, overloaded. That's what I was on about earlier. Because I hit him when his shields are uh, flux was high, he just got turned off. <laughs> Now, you're thinking like, oh, this is pretty easy so far. That's because we're fighting low-level uh, pirates, everybody. If we... Well, I say level. There's not really levels in this game. Well, there is, but you know what I mean. <laughs> the enemy's strength depends on how good their ships are and also, like, um, how many of them are as well. I feel kind of bad for this guy. <laughs> so why is it there, by the way, as well? I shot its engine specifically. And if you damage a certain part of the ship, it will turn off. Which is also why I like mining lasers. Take this! Job, man. Good. Oh, it kind of split apart there. <laughs> it's become a weird triangle ship. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Perfect. We're making money, everybody. We're making money. This was one of early, by the way. You can see we're getting experience. My officer leveled up, and also we made money. 
because we killed a few ships, which increase our relations and also, of course, gets us money as well. Now, the first thing for me I probably want to try and do is for me to get my ships so that's amazing and also then look into like getting some better combat ships so I'm not alone all the time. We're going to head back to base for now. Also, did I level up? No, it wasn't me. It was my officer. Where are you? Gamel Snowbank. Oh, he didn't level up. Who leveled up? Who leveled up, game? I don't know. <laughs> I swear it says somebody leveled up, but maybe I'm just, maybe I'm insane, everybody. Maybe I'm insane. Okay, let's just sell the goods we just got there. We're not going to make much money in terms of um, cargo or loot, because we can't really, each ship has its own, like, cargo capacity, fuel capacity, and fuel capacity. So you can't really just have combat ships. You need to have, like, support ships as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I would love to look at my ship design. And I'm going to get rid of missiles. I don't like missiles. I prefer just to have a better combat ship. So, you can kind of really see up here, you've got loads of different stats. Uh, one of the most important ones for me is flux capacity and flux dissipation. So that means how much flux per second you lose and how much capacity you have, which is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> of course it is, you idiot. Now, you can do mods to a hole which costs like these, what are these called? What are these called again? I can't remember the technical term. They're like, kind of like combat points where you can only have like a set amount per ship. You can increase these based off like the ship size or also like um, different stuff like skills and stuff. But you can also do modifications. So see right now we've got blast holes, which what does it say? Increase hole integrity by 20% and also you take fewer casualties, which is brilliant. No, thank you. <laughs> we live life on the edge. We live life on the edge. I'm actually going to increase my... Flux dissipation rate by a little bit, and also we're going to include hard hardened systems, which is what does it say? It makes you degrade performance less and increases your combat readiness. Which is I'll explain that in a bit of detail later on, but it's pretty handy to say the least. Oh, we currently have an issue with we got some spare points. What do I do with those spare points? I don't know. No, we we'll, we we'll avoid that. We we'll reduce this by a little bit. What's that by? 400 points. I kind of want to see if this is going to be worth it. Yes, it is. We actually make an extra. <laughs> so by getting rid of two flux passes, I get two more points, which reduces this by 400. But then I can get this flux cool adjustment, which gives me 600. So we should make a profit there. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just fudging the numbers, everybody. I'm fudging the numbers. Oh, what's it, what should this ship be called? Uh, the Vengeance. No, wait, no. No, the, the um, we call it the Athena. We, we, we think of like a, a country name later on, but we call it the Athena Wolf class. We will also check the weapon groups. These are fine. You can actually automate certain weapons to do different things. If you do, because of course you don't want to micromanage like 20 point defense laser turrets. They can just do their own thing. So it's pretty cool how this game works. It is extremely advanced and it is very well made. I'm happy with this. Okay. Now, is there any ships I can maybe buy? We can buy another shuttle, which might be handy. I want to buy more combat ships. So, oh, there's another wolf frigate. <laughs> we just have an army of wolf frigates. It's going to be absolutely epic. I'll buy it. Perfect. Okay, let's go and refit the ship. So, of course, if you buy a ship, it has nothing on it. It's actually a different color as well because I think it's a it's the hegemony version. Where this is like a tri tri tachyon. It's like a corporation. And it's one of the factions. So you have like different variants based on the faction it's with. Can I give it a? What can we give this ship? Now, I, as cool as it is having mind blasters, I feel like the AI would be better with a pulse laser. Because AI it, it runs the ships very well, but some weapons are better for AI than others, other ones. Like, this one's a bit a player weapon, in my opinion, because it's, it's very high flux and a lot of damage. But the AI doesn't really use it as well as it would, like, a pulse laser. Uh, let's give it some other stuff. Tactical laser. Amazing. Oh, we haven't got any point defenses. Well, I guess we can use a mining laser. That'd be fine. And this guy, I'm going to equip if we can find it. There's loads of different types of weapons and stuff, like torpedoes, uh, homing missiles. There's nothing here, damn it. There's a missile that's called a salamander, which kind of like flies around the back of the ship and it la lands into the engine with the EMP. It's a really cool missile. Uh, but there's none of those available, so we have to make do. Let's see. So let's do the similar kind of thing. Hard systems, max venting, max capacitor, no missiles. We'll leave that alone for now. Actually, we probably should put Harpoon. Yeah, screw it. We'll give it some torpedoes, because AI is pretty good with them. 
Yeah, we'll be, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So if there's a big ship we've got to fight and we knock down the shields, the AI will then be like, oh, I can now shoot it with this giant torpedo and blow it up. It's, it's a pretty cool system. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, we've got one point available. Whatever. That's close enough for me. Oh, Diana. <laughs> it kind of it kind of goes with the Athena name. Done. And just like that, everybody, we now have a second combat ship. Well, technically, we have three combat ships. The other ones are not good. Now, we're going to fly around just try and make ourselves some more money. If I go and... Oh, they're doing a sensor burst. What is this? Oh, it's cargo pods. So if you win a battle, the debris will just fly around the map. So I'll probably pick it up. And also, the ships can just be flying around the map as well that are damaged. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's easy. Running from my fleet. That's right, man. Get out. Yeah, you coward. Let's take this guy down. Oh, what's this? Hello? I can't see him because he's a bit far away. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So it's a pirate wolf frigate, which I'm using. One of those Cerberus combat freighters. I said the pirate ships are pretty bad, but if they if there's a proper fleet, you will be overwhelmed quite easily. Let's deploy. Where's my ship? Hey, buddy! <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to go for this guy first. I'll let the AI engage that other wolf. Hi. Now, this pirate ship hasn't even got shields. <laughs> it's a pretty messed up pirate ship. I was trying to escape as well. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. This is why it's called a bounty hunter ship, by the way, the wolf, because you can just destroy most of the pirates with it pretty easily. I kind of want to see like a big battle. With you. Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh, no, I messed up. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Now, you kind of see I'm like, taking damage. The yellow means it's hitting my armor, by the way, and red means it's hitting hole. Armor only works until it's destroyed, then it's no longer available, so nice. So you can actually have ships that have like hull tanking, which is really cool. Where's the rest of the... Oh, they're so far away. Guys, wait for me. I can't even see what's happening. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Oh, they won. Nice. Good job, AI. Good job. Good job, team. Good job. We'll take everything. we got some more cargo capacity now because i got an extra ship in my party, so... Oh, that's what that was. It's saying that you can somewhat, oh wait, a junior officer for Callisto, what kind of name is that? <laughs> Has distinguished herself recently and is worthy of consideration for the command of the ship. I see, so because the guy did a good job in combat, it, you can have like dynamic officers. Now, so I haven't played in the last like few months, so I think there was a patch I missed. So there might have been some stuff I just don't know about in the game right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I require a story point. I'm not sure what that is. We'll, we'll do it anyway, whatever. You can kind of see as well, we'll quickly show it in a second. Officers also have personalities. Steady. Steady is my favorite. It means they're kind of like a balanced approach where if like, they're like, oh, we'll kind of make sure we're safe while attacking the enemy because like you can have like an aggressive guy that just goes like all guns in. they would be like, we need the point defense laser shooting at the hole as well. Or you can have a cautious guy that's like, I'm not going to really attack. I'm just going to sit back. So depending on who your, um, what kind of ship it is, you want to have different officer types. Though I do think Steady is just overall my favourite type because it's very, very balanced. Uh, oh, this cost me £900 a month. Ah. Ah. Whatever. It's totally fine. What's her skill, by the way? I didn't actually check that. Target analysis. She does more damage against different ship types. Oh, big ship types. So she'd be really good as like a, um, like a bigger ship herself. She can hunt people down. But this guy, of course, is a fast ship, which is great that he's using a wolf. Actually, they probably should be the other way around. But that's, that's technical. Whatever. That'd be totally fine. Okay, so you saw earlier that guy did like a weird t sensor burst. You actually have a sensor range around your ship so you can see enemies. If I press free, I do a big sensor burst. Like see nearby enemies. This kind of also makes other people see me as well. So it's a bit of a, a double-edged sword. Let's get this guy. Hi. We got him? Yes, we just got him. The circle will seem to touch to get him to attack, so... <laughs> I kind of just want to fight by myself, but... We deploy both wolves to see them action. Okay, I'll try and stick with my friends so we can see him fight him. Wait for me, buddy. Wait for me. Oh, this guy's got no shield, though, is he? Let's back up a little bit. 
Do you notice that even though the AI has torpedoes, it won't use them because it doesn't really need to use them against this type of ship. What is that? That's a big gun. <laughs> oh my god. I'm looking at this. It's one of those. This. Oh, that's firing now. Oh, I nearly killed it with one missile hit. Oh no. <laughs> my bounty force is amazing. Now, can you imagine having like 10 of these wolf ships? It's pretty epic, by the way. I, I do it all the time. We'll try and get as many as possible for now. But I said, there are some ships I really like to use, and we'll try and get all of them as we can. Nice. Okay, so unfortunately, I think we killed all the pirates around this pirate base. Now, you can be a pirate if you want. You can go and smuggle women goods, you can destroy economies and stuff. And unlike Banner Lord, this system's actually simulated. It's not just like magic. Um, what's it called? Like, appearing looters that don't really do anything. They're just there to be killed or watched at. If the pirates are successful, they gain, gain strength and they actually hurt the system's economy. They, like, they lock off. For instance, they spawn around here. Most of the time, you're going to find pirates in these purple points, which are the jump gates into the system. They actually intelligently go to those locations and wait for targets to kill them. If they can't win, they pull back and hide. If they win, they will gain up, gang up on the enemy and take them down. It's a really, it's, this game's AI is amazing. Um, I actually bought this game like 10 plus years ago. Uh, the development's done by one guy, by the way. He's done an absolutely epic job. And I think it's actually very, very close now. If you see at the top right here, 0 0.95. We're actually getting quite close to proper release, I think, soon. Well, I say close, it might be like a year or so again, but is there anyone here? That's a, that's a loading food. That's some kind of merchant. I'm trying to find pirates, by the way, because we are a bounty hunter. Now, unfortunately, these clouds do different effects. It's probably going to be kind of hard to... Oh, I just <laughs> crash into an asteroid. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just an asteroid. So if we can't find many targets here, we might have to go somewhere else to go and fight somebody over there. Unfortunately, because this is a nebula, it's going to be very hard to actually see inside if there's pirates nearby. Let me just do a... Pulse. Oh. Oh, they're here, they're here. They're here, they're doing it to me as well. Okay. That's, we got that one, we got that one. We want to attack now, because uh, the enemies can reinforce each other. They don't just immediately appear in the battle though. Depending on how far away they are, they will appear in battle after like, I don't know, like a minute or like 30 seconds. Okay, I don't see anything that dangerous. These guys are pretty scary, because they, they're quite fast. But if it's just one, it should be fine. But they have no shields again, though. The enemy has no shields whatsoever. Oh. Not today, so... Ooh. He's got my fit! <laughs> Damn it. Those are clearly rockets, not missiles. Oh, he's a clever boy, he is. He's a bit scared. Oh, those missiles are going to hit. That's a pretty bold move. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, he just launched a torpedo against him. Nice. Now, of course, with missiles, you can't normally rearm them unless they're like a big, like, medium-sized slot. Because that means you can have, like, reloaders and stuff. So, now he's done that, his missiles are done. Well, he's, they might be, actually. He might have more than one. It takes a while to reload missiles. They're very, very dangerous. But, of course, like I said, they're limited ammo. The enemy's quite far away. Let's, let's try and get over here as soon as possible. Oh. What, what, I thought the game stopped. It kind of just stopped moving for some reason. These numbers are very annoying, unfortunately. Let's try and get through. There he is. Found him. Now, of course, I'm, I'm not doing any commands. But I mentioned earlier, you could do like different commands and stuff. Like, I can even say to like assign escorts to various ships and stuff as well. It's a really, really cool tactical system. And also, later on, we can't see it now. You can do stuff like, oh, you can do it, like avoid enemies. If there's like a very powerful enemy ship, you can tell your fleet to not go near him. Or assign like a single ship to harass him so he's not fighting the main rest of your navy. Nice. Everyone how damage works, by the way, it's persistent. So if I take armor or hold damage, it needs to be repaired after the battle. So you do you can't just go in just you have to be cost effective how you fight as well. You can't just go in and just be like, oh herpy death. Okay, there was another enemy here as well, wasn't there? There he is. How big is he? We're both cautious right now because I'm not sure how big he is. I feel like he might be weaker than me because, yeah, he's a weak boy. We'll take him out as well. Oh, he's running away. 
I don't think we can catch them. Actually, can we catch them? Let's have a look. Um, buh, 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 buh. Where's the max speed of their ships? 8-8. Eight, eight. 128. I think we're faster than them by quite a bit. 188. <laughs> That's the wrong one, sorry. Uh, top speed, 140. 160. Yeah, we can easily catch these enemies. Because they're pirate ships, so we can just home in on them. I'm actually going to deploy them both to the left and right. So they come in from the sides of the battlefield. They're going to come in from over here. These are also um, special points in a map which have larger battles. Where if you capture this, you get top 5% speed, 20% base total maximum. Um, and plus 20 deployment points, that kind of stuff. So that's a pretty cool system as well. It's very important to fight over those in larger battles, but... Oh, wait, did I deploy myself to the left? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Oopsie. I never even deployed the other guy. Oh, no. We can still catch them, though. This should be pretty easy. I think you can only deploy small ships on the left and right-hand side, though. So you can't just deploy the carrier in front of the enemy, <laughs> which would be pretty ridiculous. Because normally the AI would just leave. They're just going to try and escape. But they leave the they try and have the missile, uh, military ships defend the fleet as it runs away. And then they run away themselves. Hi, friend. How's it going? Good shot, buddy. Good shot. Take him out. Ooh, he's got the advantage on me here. I kind of need some backup, actually. Um, I can kill him, of course, but it just means I'm not going to be able to kill him in time. I'm going to try and keep him from retreating, so we try and go above him. Oh, my flux. Oh, wait, back up. Oh, good, good, good. We, we, we've got some off, we've got some off. Unfortunately, with my fit, it's kind of designed to be fighting with other people. It's not really that good by itself. Oh, nice shot. Friends, help me, friends. <laughs> I'm, I'm stopping you from retreating, guys. Nice. Now I go in. I didn't, I didn't mean to ram here. That was, that was a mistake. Beautiful, beautiful. Good job, team. Good job. Enemy defeated. Yes, it was. Okay, we should have made some good money now. We got 31 grand, so we got more enough to buy another ship again. I kind of want to see if we can... So what you can do, of course, right now we're just inside the system, right? We're just killing some random people. Uh, can I see it anywhere? Bounties, there you go. So you can see right here, there's a bunch of different system bounties. You can go to different locations. Where are we right now? We're in Corvus. So you make, well, 1.65k um, per frigate. It kind of scales up based on the whole type. There's also other ones we can go to, like, nearby with the same thing. Or, you can try and do out of system. There's this guy. Izar Wells. Out of system. They have, like, special bounties. You can go and fight people over here. Now, of course, it is quite far away. Can, can we even reach over there with our fuel? I don't think we can, to be honest. But it might be worth... Oh, fuel range. We can reach over there. Interesting. I feel like what we want to try and do, because you can see how big his fleet is from this end anyway. So you can see, if we kill this guy, we make £41,000. Or there's like a bigger version. This person has loads of ships. <laughs> Cruisers, uh, massive freighters, destroyers, uh, carriers. Yeah, that's a... Hmm, maybe we can't take that one over there. But this guy, though, Izar Wells. I think we can take this guy down. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. So I'm going to run back to base quickly. Actually, no, let's do it this way. I'm going to lead the system and teleport back inside of it. Like a little shortcut. <laughs> Wait, before we leave, wait, 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 wait. No one's here, okay. You gotta be careful going into this, um... This is hyperspace, by the way, it's very cool. There can be massive fleets here. The game doesn't tailor the experience to your player level or anything. You you can just run into, like, the world's, like, horrible pirate and it just murder you. <laughs> so you gotta be quite careful there. There's a battle over here. I know what hyperspace is, thank you. Who is this person? That's a mercenary fleet. Okay. You can kind of see actually a glance if you also very bright, sorry. You can see you've got four star danger, which means we're probably gonna lose that battle if you go and fight them. So we're gonna jump in over here. Go back to base. And then we warp off to our next destination. Now hopefully there might be another ship I can buy that might be handy for me. 
Um, there's, there is another shuttle, but I think I'd rather have proper military ships that can actually fight back. Of course, all this stuff requires you to have better relations with the faction before you... You can't just go and buy a carrier off a faction. <laughs> they need to actually like you first. Uh, there is a wolf-class frigate again inside the shop. Hmm, yep. <laughs> Problem with buying with the black market is you can get caught and you lose a bunch of relations and stuff, but um, I'll be fine. I'm not buying stuff. It, it depends on how much you buy at one time. It's a chance you... If I go and buy, like... If I went over there and I bought the Mora Carrier for 180 grand, 160 grand, I probably would have caught me. <laughs> but just doing a little ship should be fine. Can I equip this ship again? I can. Of course, the weapons here aren't the best. Tactical lasers and mining. They, you can have a lot better ships than this, that's for sure. What did I do on this one? I gave him some missiles, didn't I? Um... We will equip torpedoes just so they have some kind of large... Because i got nothing I can fight large ships at this point, so we've got to keep an eye on that. Nice. I'm kind of annoyed about this one extra point. It's going <laughs> to... The OCD. I was like, I have to fix it, but I don't know how. <laughs> we'll fix it later. It's fine. Actually, can we do the same thing? No, we can't. It's too much. Never mind. Probably should also... Oh, it has it built into the hole. You can build in, by the way, certain things you can just be... Can I do it here? Yes, you can just say, I want to permanently install this inside the ship. I can't remember what this does. I think it removes the cost. Yeah, so once you do that, it cannot be removed. Does it cost you money to do this? Well, I'm kind of confused about this. Give me a second. I've not actually played much with this system, so I'm not exactly sure how this works. I have to spill it in. Building home. Oh. I think it requires a story point to do this, by the way. So you can't just do it all the time. I think you get story points every once in a while. Um, but that's still pretty cool, though. Yeah, because now we just got more points. <laughs> I'll take it. I feel like maneuverability is going to be the way forward in this one. So we'll get some of that going. Okay, cool. We, we, we won't do that for now. We'll leave that alone. But at least we know it's a possibility we can use. Oh, what's our new ship already called? Basilisk, Diana, and Blue Shift. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm happy with this. Let's leave. Now, I am going to... That was the wrong button. <laughs> you can talk to people, by the way, and you can find, like, different people to give you missions. Let's have a look. Is there any mission people around here? You can get a commission with the hegemony. You can kind of join them in a way. Uh, you can hire people as well. I think there's a way you can get missions from people, but I can't remember exactly how you do it. I think you have to get them a contact, then you can do missions, but don't quote me on this. It's been a while since I last played, so... <laughs> um, wrong button. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, no. Your fleet matches the profile of a Spectre Smuggler. Uh, sure, buddy. Oh, they didn't, they didn't catch me. It's fine. <laughs> So they realized somebody nearby smuggled something. In my case, I bought a ship, but they didn't realize it was me, so we're fine. That's a nice ship you have there. Where did it come from? Uh, don't worry about it. I just found it on the planet. <laughs> Someone left it alone. I just took it away with me. Before we leave, let's sell these goods we picked up from the pirates. Uh, let's also get ourselves some more crew. Uh, more supplies. Oh, we can't afford this. Oh, no. Supplies cost a lot of money. Uh, upkeep is a bit of a problem sometimes. So, what I mostly want... Let's, let's, let's get rid of some of this. Heavy machinery is pretty handy for, like, different operations, like um, salvaging and exploring. Not so useful if you're just fighting people. I want... Let's get rid of a bunch of that as well. We can get, sub we can get supplies mostly from just fighting people. At least at this point. Um, I, w I mostly wanted more fuel so we can travel further. So if I go to the main map now, I can see I can actually reach the Siren Nebula. Now, before we go over there, we will go to this place first. Ibrasil, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Which has the Never Faction there, the Tritachions, and also some pirate bases. So we might be able to refuel there and get some fights as well. Oh, I got some monthly income? Why? Um, ooh. Oh, the game's giving me money because I just started the game. That's pretty nice. Thank you, game. How nice of you. 
Does that mean I can just AFK for like 36 months and get us the money? Oh, wait, what's that? Oh no. I think there's a hostile fleet here, but they don't seem to be engaging, so we're fine. Let's move on. Okay, hyperspace. Now, in hyperspace, you use fuel. There's a lot of very large enemies around here and traders and stuff. And you've got to try and dodge these clouds because they slow you down. And also, the ones that are flashing can hurt your ships. So you want to try and avoid that at all costs. Now, if we keep going past this way. I don't really care too much about going through the clouds. It's just that it's um, a bit easier. Is this the right place? Yes. That's quick. Ooh, what's this? Stellar Mirror. Interesting. So this is a totally different faction. These guys are kind of like the high-tech dudes. So they have a lot of like lasers and blue ships and stuff. Uh, as you can see, their ships look a little bit more... Um, what's it called? Refined. They're a little bit more refined. Now, I do actually... If you like lasers, that's great. I'm more of a gun guy myself, though. So we're going to favor the other faction over this one. But that's just me personally. Um, let's see. So I do want to check in the shop because you never know what's going to be in a shop. It can be the best up in the game or it could be absolutely nothing. anti matter blasters. Interesting. Point defense lasers. It's pretty handy. We will get some of those. Do we want to get some of these? Oh, what missiles have they got? Anti-shield missiles. Pretty handy. We want to improve our allies' point defenses because that was probably going to die in combat. <laughs> we'll leave it for now, though. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so apparently there's some pirates here. So before we leave, we'll just quickly see if there's any pirates we can go and fight. Up to now, though, we've only been fighting very, very, like, scout pirates. They're not, like, proper big fleets of pirates or, like, proper enemies. Now, I'm going to go right directly towards their capital, the way their system is. And we're going to see if we can find anyone. It's just over here. Hello? Is anybody home? Oh, no, 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 no. Goodbye. This one's... Is this guy? Yeah, you can fight me. It's fine. As long as they're fighting me one at a time, it's fine. If they all get me at the same time, I can be overwhelmed by, like, loads of small ships. You, like I said, you can actually have, like, 50 to 100 ships attacking at one time. It's ridiculous. That ship's easy to kill. Hi. No engines for you, sir. Oh, I got away with it. Oh, I got... No, much. Okay, the AI should kill that guy. Now I've destroyed his engines. Let's try and dodge these. One enemy's down. Oh. I'm trying to avoid damage as much as I can, of course. Moving's pretty... If you've played this game before, you probably realise moving's not as easy as you might think. Uh, moving around properly is a bit of a challenge sometimes. But once you get used to it, it's a pretty cool system. Ooh, I, ne I nearly got wiped out by him then. No. We got this guy, he's down. Oh, wait, he's back up. Good job, man, good job. Long range dangers, pretty handy. Okay, so let's see how many more enemies there are. Hopefully they maybe fight me in like a bigger group so we can take more of them down at the same time. My fleet's pretty high level, uh, high level, high quality, I would say. We've got some pretty cool guys here. Uh, advanced level two, now I've got a skill point. Ooh. Okay, let's have a look. So there's loads of skills here. I'm gonna try and spec into everything eventually because I wanna have like a big navy, I wanna have like a planet, I wanna have loads of stuff. Uh, for now, we're probably going to pick something that's not common. Uh, no, we'll go for this. We'll go for this. Oh, they, they've buffed some of these skills. So you can have a regular skill like we've picked already. And you can have an elite version. Does this here, when below 50% hole, repair 0 0.5 per second. That's amazing. That's really, really cool. So yeah, there's those different options you can pick here, though. I do eventually want to get most of these, but for now, like I mentioned before, we want to try and diversify a bit. I feel like this might be a good one, Helmsman. It increases my, like, spinny speed and also my top speed, which means we can chase down enemies quicker. But as well, I really want other stuff like technology. You can get this skill, which reduces penalty from, like, um, increases your speed, reduces penalty from, like, nebulas and stuff. It's pretty handy if you want to fly around quite a lot. I think for now, we'll go for Helmsman, though, so I, I am better at fighting myself. 
Oh, I made it an elite. Oh, I can do that with the story points. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's, let's make let's spend a story point to make an elite. Yeah, so we get plus five speed and also zero flux boost activated at any flux level. That's amazing. That basically means you can always get more top speed, even if you're losing your shields and stuff. I'll spend quickly, we go back into battle again. Speed is very important in this game. It can save you or help you destroy enemies. So we know there's those enemies here, but where have they gone? Because we're both in nebulas, it's hard to see each other. There's one. That's a medium sized bunch of shuttles. That looks bigger. That's not that bad. That's not. I reckon we can win that. Oh, they got backup though. Oh. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna go in, everybody. We're gonna go in, and we're gonna fight all these enemies. <laughs> There's a lot of them, as you can see. Now, as I mentioned, the pirates just flood you with terrible ships. Most of these are shuttles, combat freighters. Um, this though is an actual ship. They've actually got themselves a brawler, an elite gunship. That'd be kind of scary to deal with. Also, they got a carrier as well, but it's only got some basic drones, so that should be fine. Mining drones, actually. Yeah. I'm kind of scared about deploying my ships at this point. Uh, we're going to go in, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign one person to follow me, and one person to follow the other one. So what we can hopefully do, we're assign the shuttle to me. Yes, we assign the shuttle to me, and we assign the wolf to the other one. So there's two different teams. Hopefully together we can support each other, and not get ourselves completely murdered. So we want to try and sprout the enemy a little bit. So that we're not just fighting one big blob. But it's also good that we can uh, work together as well. Okay, this guy's hit. Oh, that's a good hit for me. I'm getting a lot of good hits hit. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, I didn't see them. Even if we even if we don't kill them, if they retreat, that's good for us as well. I'm trying to keep my ally from being destroyed here. Like I said, it's a, it's a teamwork effort, everybody. It's teamwork. I'm sorry, I'm not talking much. I've got to focus. <laughs> Oh, don't shoot me, buddy. Don't shoot me. That's a Sabbat missile. Oh, my guys killed somebody. Good job, guys. Okay, I'm going to pull back for a little bit. Let's try and kill that. They killed somebody else. The AI is very good in this game. I, I keep saying it, but they are amazing. They, the guy's done an amazing job with this. Ooh, oh. This guy has no shield. I'm probably going to kill him point blank. Okay, we've got one. Flat. The guy that I injured earlier retreated. Oh, he damaged my ship's engines. Uh, my ally ship. Oh, he dodged it. Ooh. Oh, no, it's that gunship. Oh, no, he got my engines. Oh, I got his engines. <laughs> no one has engines. Engines are overrated, everybody. Engines are overrated. I get it. I can get him. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, I'm a bit hurt, though. Okay, how's my allies doing? Oh, there's so many enemies here. We want to try and avoid that guy. I'm going to go and help my ally flank quickly. And we're going to see if we can quickly gank this shepherd. The shepherds. This is a kind of like a very basic frigate um, carrier. It spawns a bunch of mining drones, which are over here. They're very annoying because they kind of fly around the back of you and distract you. So if we can neck out this ship, we can save our allies from the tender here. This ship is very weak. It is very weak. Apart from the drones, it supplies. It doesn't really do anything. I'm being a bit ambitious here. Let's be careful. I nearly got it though. It's nearly dead. Oh, quite readiness. So, as I mentioned before, a ship only has a set amount of time in a, in a proper engagement before it needs to retreat because it can only run so long. So mine, for instance, peak active performance remaining, 177 seconds. That only ticks down if you're in combat with an enemy that's the same strength as you, by the way. So if I'm like a cruiser and I'm being attacked by a shuttle, it won't matter. It doesn't actually count as being like attacked by a proper enemy. 
We're going to pull them back though shortly. We'll take care of the tender first. I can see these things are very annoying. My shuttle is very effective at attacking pirate ships, but it has no point defense. Uh, so it has a little bit of an issue with these things. So I'm trying to protect it while doing it. Um, it's a bit of a pickle, isn't it? It's a bit of a pickle. I have point defense, though. As you can see, I'm actually killing stuff while we're going along. Oh, they've assigned the shuttle to defend. That's why it's trying to keep me... You can say it's it's trying to like keep me... It's putting itself in between me and my enemy, which is really cool AI again. Uh, oh, I got something, sorry. <laughs> Screw it. I'm through. It's running away anyway. You can tell it's running away because it's going in a straight line. One more hit and I'll vent. Nice! Ooh. The drone should turn off eventually, but it does take a little bit of time. And you, my friend, need to retreat because if you leave him in the battlefield when his things run out, he will eventually just run out of um, CR, which is Comet Readiness. If it goes down to zero, they just stop working. So I think after 50%, you have like random chances of stuff breaking, like missiles can turn off, um, weapons can like stop working properly, that kind of thing. So we've got to make sure we retreat so he's out the battle. Which is why when I was doing the holes, I was picking the trait which gave me more time in combat, which is, as you can see right now, very handy. All right. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing, everybody? Oh, I did it again. Oh, he's very close to being... Um, okay, he's out. We got him. I'm going to vent this so I got full... Oh, no, they're going down as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We'll leave him in the battlefield for now. Nice. I'm going to quickly run over there and we'll see if we can win. Because I'm not going to be able to take care of that big ship by myself. It's too big, I think. Now, they're fighting a Vigilant class frigate, which is kind of like a big missile dude. So it should be pretty easy for them to take it down. Oh, no, not. They kind of split in half. Okay, that's why. This ship is very hard to kill one-on-one, -on -one, but as you can see, its shields don't cover its ass. So if we get in there... Hi, friend. Oh, he's gone for me instead. This could work out as well. I'll distract this guy. Oh, I was trying to shoot the missile before it deployed. Oh, that's a hypervelocity railgun thing. They're anti-shield uh, weapons, as you can tell. I'm trying to dodge it instead of just taking the hits, because uh, you can get your shields recharged. We'll let that go. Everyone come over here. I'm gonna, I'll just assign them an order to come and help me fight this ship, because we want to do it now before the flux gets too low. Ooh. It's actually one of my favorite weapons, by the way, this uh, hypervelocity cannon. If you get loads of them on a big ship, you can absolutely devastate. Oh, we got it. The engines is down. Yes, deploy the torpedoes. Come on, come on. Done. We won. Well, that was a bit harder than the other battles, everybody. <laughs> but we should make a lot of money from this. Uh, oh, they're running away. There's a lot of enemies running away. <sighs> we have to let them go. We have to let them go. We'll harry their retreat, though, so they lose some resources and stuff. But we'll go from there. Yeah, so unfortunately for us, because uh, most of my ships are damaged, you can see they got the CR level below 50. Like I mentioned before, if I deploy them in battle, there's a chance they could just fall apart in battle. I'm not taking the risk. If it <laughs> For me, most of it's like, your engines are turned off, so now you're just casually flying into the enemy formation. Like, no thank you. Uh, we'll leave that alone. We'll let them go, which means I can immediately move on without having to be so down. Kind of like in Battle of when you attack an enemy, you have a disorganized state. You can either choose to pursue the enemy to attack them again. You can harry their retreat, so you kind of, like, hurt them. So they lose, like, some comet readiness, and they have to, like, they just lose some resources, basically. Um, but then you get slowed down. Or you can let him, him go to immediately move at full speed away from the area. I don't know who else is here, so we're going to do that option to quickly just escape the area. So we made two grand from the CPUs. Also, we're going to make some... Oh, look at this. Oh. 
Oh, we got the hyper velocity can uh hyper velocity driver. Nice. That that itself is worth like two grand, everybody. Look at the seat right there. And I guess we'll take the rest of this. We can sell it for uh money. So ten grand from that. That was a pretty good battle by itself. Okay, I'm gonna back out. Uh full speed, everybody. Get out of there. Full speed! I don't know who else is here. There could be like an entire like armada or something we don't even know about. So we're just going to escape. Let's head towards the nearest station so we can try and recover. So as you run away from combat, I did such damage there. You could probably see. You've got loads of different things down here. You've got like a... This is like your fleet-wide combat readiness and how ready to fight you are. You've also got the repair time, how long it's going to take to repair, and also like the armor value. So armor repairs top down. So, oh, we're checking a few seconds. So right now you can see my, my ship is messed up. <laughs> I have damage everywhere. Uh, but as time goes on, it will actually fill itself in again from the top going down like a 3D printer. So if we wait a few seconds, let's just uh, go towards this city down here. Wait for a few seconds. Okay, that'll do. There you go. You can see it's now like a the original color again. It's filling itself in, which is a really cool system. Okay, nice. Let's sell the goods we just captured. I think we'll stay for a little bit longer just to get some more resources and stuff, and then we'll head over to um, our big objective. Now, what ships can I buy here? Small ones. Isn't there a second station, though? I think there's another one we can go and look out. Mm, never mind. <laughs> there's another wolf frigate. We keep taking them. Ah. Oh. I love wolf frigates. They are very good against pirates. <sighs> no, we won't equip it here. We're trying to look, we look at the other station. The other station is actually a military station, so there's a higher chance there's some high quality goods over here. Uh, game, don't oh, do not do that, everybody. Don't do that. <laughs> that. That just wastes loads of supplies, by the way, because flying into the corona of the sun is not a good idea. Uh, it hurts your ships, believe it or not. What's here, by the way? I can't even look inside this, they didn't like me enough, but there's a military station and there's a lot more bigger ships you can try and buy here. Uh, let's see. <gasps> the heavy blaster! Now this is the military version of the mining blaster, so I want this for myself and also the AI can use it as well very well. So we're going to get one of these. Uh, actually, I say one. I want them all. Give them to me. I'll take it. I'll take it, I will. What have we got here for point defense? There are there is some point defense here. Let's get some basic point defense. Um, general laser. We are going to switch around a lot of these ships, actually. Because we can. We're going to give everybody these giant heavy blasters. We're going to get rid of the missiles. I prefer my ships don't have missiles because they only last for a small amount of the battle. So I'm, I'm happy with my guys just doing their own thing. Uh, we will also give them point defense lasers. Oh, they cost a lot though, unfortunately. We have to make do. You can get one point defense laser, friend. <laughs> you get one. That's all you get. Uh, oh, you can get two. Is that because you're missing something else? You're missing quite a lot. You need to get some hardened systems, those two things, get that to maximum. You look, this ship's done though, this ship is done. This ship, done. It's weird that there's a, oh, it's because this gun's different. So I was trying to think what difference was there. And you need this. Over time we will refine these builds, this is for now already, because I'm not that worried about point defense when it comes to fighting pirates, because as you saw, their best fighters are mining drones. They haven't got, well actually, they can get proper fighters, uh, but they haven't got any yet, so we haven't got to fight any. Uh, flux. Yes. Done. Happy with that. Cool. Uh, let me just save quickly. And what we can actually do, because uh, I feel like it's been quite a long time we've already started doing it. What's this? They want to scam me? Sure. We're good. Something that I really think is really cool, if you, at any time you can test your ships in combat, I'm just going to show you a big a big enemy fleet. So you can run a simulation and you can just call in your allies. So you can call in my entire fleet. We have all of my ships. 
And you can just say deploy a pirate fleet to test how good your army is compared to someone else. Now, I'm, I'm going to lose this, but I just want to show you some of the bigger ships in the game because uh, they're pretty awesome. <laughs> no fear, everybody. No fear. Okay, where's my fleet? I need, I need my friends. Where are my friends? You won't lose anything, by the way. This is a simulation. It doesn't matter at all. Okay, this is my current combat fleet, and I just deployed a lot of enemy ships. Target spotted, sir. They're everywhere. Oh, I've seen these guys before. Oh, what's that thing? It's a cruiser. <laughs> That's a pretty big ship. Ooh. Be careful, everybody. There's enemies everywhere. Oh, no. Oh, no. I want to throw off the big ship. Where is it? There it is. Look at this thing. It's huge. Oh, my God. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love, I love this game. This game's amazing. Um, take that! I doubt... Did you see that? I did two damage against that shit. I'm going to take that as a win, okay? Well, apart from that, everybody, I think that's it for today's episode. I uh, hope that everyone's enjoyed. I absolutely... It's one of my favorite games of all time. It is extremely well put together. The guy spends like a year doing each patch, by the way. That's why I've owned it for 10 years, because he's a very... He, everything he releases is flawless. It really is. The guy has spent so much effort into quality. It's unbelievable. Of course, it's a very long development time, which is probably why you never see, you haven't seen this game on Steam or anything, because he's not going to release it, I think, until he's finished the game, which is um, getting closer, everybody. It's getting close. Uh, but apart from that, I have put a link in the description for the game's website if you're interested in buying it yourself. I I have thousands of hours in this game. It, it, like I said, it's one of my favorite games. It's amazing. Uh, also, the mods are amazing as well. You can actually have like Gundam suits and stuff that fly around. It's, it's There's so many opportunities you can play here. But anyway, it's going to be released every other day, this series. We're just going to go from, of course, my little fleet. We're going to try and get ourselves a planet and like a big fleet and, uh, big fleet and stuff and go from there. Apart from that, as always, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.